trying to be morally good. See your, uh, let's say, your children. You are good to them, as far as you know how to be. Are you good to them because of morality? Because somebody has told you you should not kill your children. Is that the reason why you are not killing them? Are you being good to your children and not killing them because somebody has told you that you must be good to your children, that is good morals? Is it so? So why are you so good to them? Why do you love them? Why not somebody else? Hmm? Why are they your children? Because in some way you see them as a part of yourself, isn't it? In some way you see them as a part of yourself. Don't they grow up and turn your enemies sometimes? <laughs> Still somewhere, as far as you are concerned, you see them as a part of yourself that you are able to look beyond all their nonsense, all their problems, all their everything and still reach out to them, isn't it? Simply because you see them as a part of yourself. Yes, that's all the thing is, isn't it? So anything that you experience as a part of yourself, with that you don't need morality, obviously. Isn't it so? Yes? Are you understanding what I'm saying? So you just leave out one step and when we go there again, you go back to the number one step. <laughs> so anything that you experience as a part of yourself, with that you do not need any morality. Is it so? You don't have to try to be good. Morality means you try to be good, isn't it? <clears throat> so yoga means to experience everything as a part of yourself. Right now, let's say you gave birth to your child. It could have happened to many of you, you don't know. And in the hospital, they interchange your children with somebody else. You bring this child, this was born biologically to somebody else, but you believe this is yours. And uh, you love this child any less? Your involvement with the child any less? Your DNA not there, but still you love it. So it is just your willingness to include somebody. So you are capable. It is not that it has to come from your body. It is just that if you are willing, it's possible, isn't it? If you are a little more sensible, maybe you adopted a child and love this child as much as anybody. Why you did not bear your wife or your husband, do you? They were born by somebody else. And generally your husbands were born by that horrible woman called mother-in-law. But you love that man, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it so? So, it is just a question of your willingness. If you are willing, you can experience everything as a part of yourself. When you experience everything as a part of yourself, you do not need morality. When you know the vulgarity, what is you and what is not you, only then you need morality. Otherwise, no morality. Why does a person who experiences everybody as himself need morality? With morals, you are only trying to be good. You will never become good. Please see this. You can hold back your hands, but you can't hold back your mind, isn't it? Can you? You can hold back your physical body. Can you hold back your mind? It goes everywhere and does everything, isn't it?